This episode of Take It to the House is brought to you by Mesa Trophies and Plaques. Now, take it to the house. I'm taking it to the house. I'm Vic Herbert III. I have a PhD in organizational leadership. So when we say we take it to the house, we can take it to the house in all aspects of sports. My uniqueness brings the diagnosis of the organizational culture, leadership aspects in the sports world, the country, hey, anything we discuss dealing with that leadership aspect. So before we get started, let me let you know now, I'm a diehard Lakers fan. I'm a diehard Dodgers fan and I'm a diehard Baltimore Ravens fan. But most of all, I'm a sports fan. So whether we want to discuss patriotism in the United States and protest or our organizations fail to build a winning culture, I will bring the heat. No, most importantly, I'm taking it to the house. This is a family thing right here, y'all. We're going to take it to the house together. I'm Tim Hoover. Yes, I'm a fan. What I bring to the table, well, a little bit of physical therapy, but I'm concerned about society and sports, racism in sports. I want to talk about those things that are impacting you. What those things do you, you talk about at the barbecue? Those things you talk about at the barbershop, nail salon, those things you talk about with your boys. We want to talk about it. COVID, we want to talk about those things. Who am I? I'm really just a fan. Laker fan first. I got my LA Dodgers. And I'm gonna rep some USC. Yes, sir. I'm gonna rep. And I got several things we want to talk about, but I want to say thank you. Thank you to the servicemen that are out there. Thank you, first responders. Thank you. And there's some good cops out there. Thank y'all for doing what you do. I can't do what you do, but let's talk about it. We're going to take it all to the house. As we talk about taking it to the house, you got to tell me what's the biggest thing right now. We had a lot of time to talk. We had a lot of time to think since, what, March when the world just shut down. A lot of things we can take to the house, but if there's anything off the bat, what do you like to take to the house right now? Well, before I take it to the house, I got a couple of things, man. I got some slow burn. Things that are just burning me up. How about the Clippers? Thinking that they're going to take over for LA. What the heck? Come on, Clippers. Huh? Lap dance, Lou. Firing your coach. You did everything you could to beat my team, the Lakers, and yet you're suddenly eliminated and you now you're outside the bubble. My goodness, come on. That, I, that's one of my burns. Fired the coach, couldn't be disciplined inside the bubble, and, and failed to take it seriously. I mean, the things that I would take to the house, though, since you asked the question, I got to pause just for a minute. I just want to pause just for a minute and think about who took it to the house before you and I were even born a generation or two ago to Gail Sayers, you, who took it to the house, literally, back in the days when They didn't want to block for the black man, but he did his damn thing anyways. He took it to the house. That's good stuff. Good stuff. When I start thinking about my things I like to take to the house today, first, Black Lives Matter protest. It's a lot of stuff happening. So, I mean, off the bat, before I even tell anybody anything else, hey, look, I served in the military. 20 plus years in the United States Army, retired officer, three combat tours to Iraq. So when we want to start talking about bright Black Lives Matter, nil it, not nil it, I think I got something I could talk about when we take it to the house. Also, the NBA, the bubble concept, to me, so far, success. We're talking about the world yeah. shut down in the middle of Adam Silver's yeah. uh, uh, reign as a commissioner, and he not only stopped, he rephrased, found out how to repackage his product and deliver it 90 days. So I want to hit that. NFL. Great. I'm an NFL fan, I stated. But there's a lot of things happening. How about the fact of COVID breakout already in week three? How are you going to take it to the house? We got four teams impacted off of one decision. So I'm interested to take that to the house. And we can look a little bit about, obviously, your Clippers, uh, uh, the L.A. Clippers, not your Clippers per se. But I'd like to discuss that in detail. So I think there's a lot of things we can do when we start taking it to the house. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> You speak of the bubble uh, for the NBA. I want to say a salute to you, taking it to the house, Adam Silver, um, recreating, repackaging the NBA to the Lakers and to Miami, who are going to be tipping off here real soon to find out who the 2020 champion is going to be. To me, it's not an asterisk, not an asterisk by any means. By any means, if you anything, you give it a gold star for under these circumstances that you uh, uh, we're able to bring what I call entertainment to my door, into my home, and pull it off. Uh, so salute to you, Adam Silver. You took it to the house. 
No doubt. Yeah, exactly. When I start thinking about what Adam was able to do again in the middle of a pandemic, we're talking about March 11, 2020. The, I'm about to watch the tip off between Houston, uh, I believe it's the Utah Jazz, and he has to, he has to, we're weeks away from playoffs. And to yeah. be able to stop it in the midseason, again, repackage, I got to give him kudos from a leadership aspect. I mean, that's the lesson in crisis management. No one's experienced this since, what, 100 years ago? No one around here is around there during that time. The leagues weren't even around. So for him to be able to repackage that, deliver something, yes, it's an inconvenience to the players. I got it. You got to go to the bubble. But yet being able to do that and have a, a testing system in place, being able to galvanize his group, being able to galvanize the owners, I mean, that's, that's something that's admirable. And I think if anyone did it the right way this year, it's him. Yes. No positives in the bubble. The only threat to the bubble kind of transitioned a little bit. The only threat to the bubble was when the Black Lives Matter, when protests, the cities were burning and our, our black NBA players, they shut it down and uh, taken it to the house across other sports, soccer, baseball, tennis. People refused to play in protest of what was going on with Sustained, if you ask me, racism from the police or police brutality. So I like what our, what was the Bucks and whoever else was supposed to play Orlando Magic that particular night. They refused to play and all these other sports followed suit well thereafter. And so that was the threat to the bubble. It wasn't COVID, it was protest. And can you imagine the mindset of our players in the bubble when they can't go home and comfort their, their children, their wives, when these things are going on or can't be up front for their fan base and can't be out there with their fan base and they're in this bubble feeling like they're in jail instead of being able to express themselves. And yet, here we are about a month later, several weeks later, and we're now about to crown an NBA champion. So it, it's not without uh, challenges within the bubble, whether mentally, physically, spiritually, but also just in their cultural, excuse me, their community responsibility or societal responsibilities. They did, didn't want to just entertain. They wanted to go out and make an, a, a significant impact within their communities. Yeah, I think that's a key point. I mean, I think what the bubble really did uh, bring to American public is that these are men. These are fathers. Yeah. These are sons. These are husbands. Yeah. And so, yes, we look yeah. at them Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, to perform on TNT or ESPN. But when you had the bubble and now you're isolated, there's a whole nother dimension of being a professional. I mean, now you have to get to the point, yes, you lost the game. You don't get to go home to see your kids and blank, uh, blank out that game. You don't get to spend that time with your loved ones or your best friends, your family members to help you get over this loss. All right, you just three seconds left. You missed a shot. Who, go, who do you go back home to in comfort? And so there's a whole other mental aspect that, these professionals have to overcome. And so while we make uh, pandemic George or what they want to call him, he still talked about, I'm not there mentally. And to say I'm not there mentally, yeah. it's not because I can't dribble the ball. It's that I'm dealing with things I never had to deal with for the last 20 some years I played ball. And not only that, yes. to your point, now you're also dealing with a social issue. And now not yes. having to be reminded that you're a black man and not being able to do things for your community, for yourself, right. and still ask yourself, still be asked by your ownership to dribble the ball and play. Nah, we got to take a timeout. So I think, again, the bubble did not come without some level of uh, consternation, but it definitely gave me a lot more respect for them as professionals to be able to say, okay, I need to be mentally strong now to still be able to perform my job and win the championship. Yes. Yes. And so this being a sports platform, I uh, kudos to soccer, the NHL, tennis, uh, Major League Baseball, football for under these circumstances, 2020, several challenges, but the number one challenge being COVID and the pandemic that is going on. So taking it to the house, all you sports, because I am a sports fan, you brought me entertainment. Thank you. And yet you're being able to do this fairly well. Now, I'm concerned, Vic, I don't know what you think about the NCAA, and you mentioned the, the NFL already. It's only been three weeks in. Come on. Now, is it because of lack of discipline? Is it because of a laissez-faire attitude? Or 
What 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 is, what is your opinion on the NFL and the NCAA? I was already curious how this is going to happen. How are they going to be able to pull this off? Unlike basketball, we can say we're going to go to a bubble. Unlike tennis, where it's a one-on-one -on -one sport. Unlike NASCAR, where you're sitting in a vehicle. How are you going to manage close contact when we understand CDC says six feet distance, mask? I'm going to get in the trenches. I'm lining up 11 versus 11, my hand in the dirt, and I'm about to knock uglies. And you won't tell me that we're still going to have some level of a COVID protocol? How do we do that? I'm actually surprised it lasted this long without having positive case. So as we move forward, how do you adjust this? Already they're talking about how do you adjust the schedule for the Titans and the Pittsburgh Steelers this next week? Because last week, the Titans, who now have the positive case, played Minnesota Vikings. But, oh, by the way, Minnesota Vikings now got to play the Texans. So that's four teams impacted by someone doing something. Again, they're not in a bubble. So you're right. still going home after the game. You're still flying. You're still traveling somehow. I don't know where he got it. Grocery store, a movie. I don't know what they're doing when they're not with the team. But when you start looking at NFL and we're at week three, and we still got 13, excuse me, now we got 17 weeks in a season, 14 more weeks, a playoff, and they're still saying the second wave of COVID's coming by. I don't know how they're going to do it. I'm still an entertainer, the fan, but I'm also concerned. Because as we talked about the mental aspect, if I'm the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I know you just played Minnesota last week, and you're going to tell me we just moved, the, we rescheduled the game until next Tuesday, you think I want to play you? I've been around people at work, and I'm worried, are they, are they clear? Two weeks? How long is enough time before I can be in your space before I think I'm safe? So there's another mental aspect here that I'm still wondering how the NFL is going to get over this and how do you still reassure players? Number of players have already opted out. I don't want to play before the season started. Now, will you have more players opting out now that, <laughs> that these are positive cases? Yes, yes, yes. So I, 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 we have a lot to talk about. We have a lot to cover. And thank goodness for this platform. Thank goodness for this opportunity. I want to thank in my closing argument or points is Steve uh, for allowing us two black men to come forward and, and express ourselves in this manner about something that we're so passionate about. I wanna say thank you to our family. And if you're watching this, you're more family than you are friends. And so thank you to our family and friends for just listening to us. And we want people to chime in and talk to us and talk, give us some feedback, let us know how things are going. I'm not an expert on tennis, soccer, NASCAR, golf, but I want people to tell me what's going on in those sports other than Tiger Woods, I, did, I don't know, but I'll, I'll pick up on it. I want you to tell me, tell Vic, I want you to take it to the house for those respective uh, 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 sports. We want to just talk and every week we're going to be here to talk to you. Please talk to us. Can't say no better. We're about taking it to the house. At the end of the day, we're, we're sports fans like everyone else. You can't tell me that I don't love my team, but at the same time, I love my sports. I love my country. So we want to take it to the house. We got a lot of latitude here. We could go, we got a lot of depth and we got a lot of width. We're ready to wrap. Again, this is nothing you won't happen, won't, uh, would not happen at your living room, in the man cave with the fellas, at the spot at the barbershop. So we're ready to take it to the house. Bring it. We'll, ha we'll uh, hit us up on the social medias. Uh, and any other platform you have, but we're ready to take it to the house.